Uh, oh. He's patrolling. And who's that down there? Accidentally dog. The telephone line guided me to Lin's apartment. Fortunately, Lin isn't here yet. Fortunately, but unfortunately, the hitman is. And there's a couple of unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Oh. Huh? Looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. Got some banging tunes now. And even an unluckier little doggy. Poor, brave little warrior. He must be trying to defend his mistress. If Lin came home now, I have to do something about this situation fast. We'll analyze the scenario here. Oh yeah, can we, can we, time to go back in uh, four minutes before? Huh? Where am I? And more to the point, who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course! Do you see anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. The thoughts reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress apartment and you are... Presumably, the little doggy who died here? Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see. The dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh. There's no time to lose. Miss Camelia. Ca Camilla. Cam Camilla? Cam Cam <laughs> um. Uh. Cam ca 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 Why can't I not say it? Never mind, she's in trouble. Camilla. Camil Camilla? You can say that. That's right, I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. I'm a Pom Pom Pomeranian. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Go on, Jeff. Well, um, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Let's do this little doggy. All right, Miss, uh, Miss Camilla. Yeah, I can't, I can't say it properly. Why can't I not say it? Alright, she's in trouble. I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. Camila? Camila? Cam Why can't I not say it? I'll, I'll say it one day. <laughs> I'll die before I can rescue her. i die before I could rescue her. How can I lay her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress safety than your own death, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Alright, time to go back four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save his life. Um, yeah. C -c 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 Camila. Camila? Camila. Cam Camilla? It could be Camilla. Miss Camilla. Miss Camilla. <laughs> Camilla. Alright. Let's see. First of all, I better see what I could find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, bird. Where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you. You brought me uh, with you, one or the other. Oh, looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just travel through time, man. Not especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. If she could do that, then it's not so strange that you could walk backwards through time. So that's the way your mind works, eh? I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, come on, let's get started. Okay, first, we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then we use what we learned to save... Uh, Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to f get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. So, uh, missile's chilling. Camilla grabbing the remote. Yippee, you found the remote. Alright. And missile's enjoying himself. Oh. Shut that mud up. No missile, you're not supposed to bar. The lady next door is crabbier than I ever tonight. They barked again. I'll knock this wall down. You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? Uh. Why do you like to bark so much anyway? Sure, cute. But just don't get us killed, okay? Little does she know. <laughs> Dan, I really wanted to watch TV too. Wasn't she reading? Hey, I'll know. I'll just listen to music. Wasn't she reading? 
<laughs> What's she? You can't multitask like that. Oh, oops. Oh, whoa. Close. She's got her beats. Oh shit, she's got her <laughs> AirPods on. She's got her headphones on. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. Damn, she's got a... What was it called? The fucking... Trolley. Oh, one donuts fell. That ran. Oh, she can't hear because she's blowing the fucking music, bruh. I'll knock this wall down. Uh, Camilla, how loud is the... <laughs> how loud is Camilla listening? Uh-oh. Hmm, I don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as <laughs> a separate charge, and accounting never likes that. I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. And that's how Missile died. Damn. In the taxidermy position. Because that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, look at that. I'm dead. I'm kind of shot to tell you the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. But let's see, how are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! <laughs> I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that. Did you notice putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones? Oh, she put those red things on. That's it. I can uh, call her name until my throat is sore. But she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. Huh, you're right. Maybe she should uh, lower the volume a bit on, the, on that. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the gun intruder's gun. So maybe our first lead now... No. Alright, that's the first thing. Alright, okay. I'm just... I don't know why... <laughs> paused. I paused just randomly. Alright, trick time. Oh shit, it started. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, let's start. Uh, door. Alright, wait, wait, wait. I don't even know. Oh shit, dude. I don't even know, bro. On the remote. Alright, here we go. What do you want to say? Well, can we change the little fate by just standing and watching? I'm gonna have to get her cooperation. Get everything. Nothing. I think we just wait. That's funny. What's wrong? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Use the telephone line glows red, but it's dark right now. Uh, looks like I can't use the telephone lines in the four minutes before dead. Can I reach this? Oh shit, I can. Extend. Alright. Okay, retract. I've got this. You almost knocked those red things down. Hey, I think you're onto something there. If we dropped them in the fish tank, Camilla, uh, Camilla won't be able to use them anymore. If we dropped them in the fish tank, Miss Camilla will get a scalding for Miss Lynn. All you have to do is pretend it was your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay, but obviously you never seen Miss Lynn when she <laughs> yeah, she gets mad. Alright. Apparently she could, uh, Miss Lynn has a... How are we going to stop this? We wait, right? But how about that? Can we do it? Do I do it when uh, she picks it up? I think it's GG's if she picks it up. I think I've got to do something about this, uh, the rats, man. Alright, let's see. Don't want to knock her down. Why you bark so much? I'll listen to music. Oh, it's time. Oh, this isn't good. Miss Camilla is going to put those red things on her head. Yeah, I know. When she gets them on, it's all over. We won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? There are two things I could do. Smack her with the door. Let's see. Oops. Oh, something happened. Ow. Why is it acting up all of a sudden? I don't recall getting smacked by doors, especially in my own house. It's like the door is a bad dog, biting the hand that feeds it. 
Though, with missile, it's more nibbling at the tip of my nose than my hand. Oh, she's going for it still. Oh, hit. Oh, oh wait. Fuck. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Save. Frame perfect. Oh no, damn. How did I manage to do that? Didn't just borrow those headphones too. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. If it was brand new or even I would be pissed. How about if we tell her you did a missile? Good on you, missile. Dan. No, I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Oh, little does she know. Uh, forgive me, Miss Camilla. I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're the one playing gods, eh? Huh? No, never mind that. The more important thing, we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Brain perfect, guys. Fate has changed. Alright. I think I'll go over here again. Alright, she's gonna bring the trot. Oh no, she's moving it. Oh no. In the mood of a bit of donuts. Alright, what do we say? The question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Only if I had big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit. Huh, it doesn't seem like we could stop the hitman from coming in, so in that case... Ooh, I have an idea. Why don't we hide Miss Camilla? Um, hide, huh? That sounds just like the kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> but where could a little lady hide in this room? I think I might just have the place. But there's just one little problem. How to get Miss Camilla in there, right? Exactly. If I can't possess Miss Camilla, uh, well, possess Camilla herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only way to do it is to lead her there. Now, what can I do using the objects in the room? I think I'll try out various things and see what I can come up with. That's true, the trolley's here as well. I'll be here watching you cheer on. Alright. Move? The ball? Should we rock it? Rock the bone? Okay. It's the rad. What if we do this? Do we move the trolley then? Oh shit, what am I doing? <laughs> Wait, why am I over here? Oh, I moved- no, 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 I moved the trolley back. Missile, if you back like that, you make the lady next door start howling. Keep that up, that wall is going to come down on our heads before you know it. But you'll protect me if anything bad happens, right, Missile? Of course I will. Quite a big promise for a little fellow. The poor, guys, the poor little guy's up against some form formidable opponents. Uh, the man in black and the woman in purple. Wait, what do we do? I'm not tricked yet. Are we change her? Uh... Fuck, dude. Do we do it again? Alright, time's passing. Alright, what, what do we say? Why don't you give... Oh, you always give your mistress so much trouble. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. When that little guy starts squeaking, it gets me all in an uproar. And when I bark, Miss Camilla always comes over and gives me a nice hug. Huh. We might take advantage of that piece of information. Huh? How? The rat shows up and check. Oh! And then you go back at the rat. That little lady comes to you, find down. Yeah, that's the way things work, I'm afraid. <laughs> so in other words, the donut could be bait. Alright. Wait, do we rock? Hmm. Run. Alright, I'm like, clicking, pressing. Can we rock this? Can't make the another donut fall. What do we do? Without the donut, the squeaky guy won't come and I won't back. Looks like only one donut will fall. The donut's the only bait that will lead the little lady to where he wanna. Now I should rethink my plan of attack. Maybe something like this. Play the ornament. Oh, new things are changing. Alright. Ah, she's sitting on the other side now. If you back like that, how can anybody 
enjoy that pretty melody. And your poor mistress has to get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. Look at that. And the ornaments fell off the tree. I'm not interested in things like that. I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. You should try graduating from needless barking too. Sorry, that's the one thing I could just never give up. Alright, hold up. I've got this. I can't reach that. Rotate faster? God, what if I rotate faster? What is that up there? Wow. Hold up. I could actually... Okay, what is this? Oh, okay. What have I done? Alright, slower. How do we make it hide? Uh, what? How do you, even I don't know how. Alright, something dropped there. Can't get the thing to move. Uh, uh give me another. Something just fell, and quite dramatically, too. It was a wooden box, kind of heavy. I wonder what he was doing there. I'm just glad I didn't fall on Miss uh, Camilla's head. Me, too. You don't need to add to the number of ghosts around here. Um, what do we do here? Play again? Oh, rare, yeah, sure. Do it. Will she notice the thing? No, nope, didn't. What exactly are you barking about, anyways? Well, just look at that. It's all sparkling and glittery. Okay, <laughs> uh, Glittery. And it turns around and around. Besides, it plays that exciting music. What else could I do but that? Tell me this, then. Exactly. What are you thinking when you bark like that? Well, let's see. The time there, if I had to put my feelings into words, I say they were welcome. Uh, I guess that's about sums it up. I guess it's the kind of feeling I'll never quite understand. Alright. Can I. Uh. Alright. Get this. And I rotate over. Alright, rock. Rock the portrait. Nothing. Um. Can I reach it? I can reach it. Alright, here we go. Something here. Yeah, I hit the ornament. Wow, you sent that thing flying. I like to tidy up by shoving eyesores under the sofa. <laughs> hey, how come you were looking at me when you say that? Hey, wait a minute. Under the sofa, right? Eh? I might be the spot the hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it, Miss Camilla climbs under the sofa all the time. Trying to catch me. You're a naughty little doggy, aren't you? So my new plan is to hide the little lady under the sofa. The only problem is, is how I lead her there. Oh. That's a good question. Alright, we're flying. Fuck, I don't know. Time's ticking. Monka S. Move the card. So that would do anything. Yeah, how the fuck do I... Good question, good question. Is this over? Is this GG's already? I don't know. Do I play it? Let's play it. Will she notice the ominent? No. What how you what the fuck do I do? Do we do we go back time? Guess I better rewind the clock again and see if we could pick up clues. I think we couldn't Alright, yeah yeah yeah. I think I need that rat though. Um After faint change? Yeah, after Alright, alright. Okay, I need that. Donor not to move. Alright. Move that. Where the donuts go?
Oh, wait. Alright. Is the almond gonna fall here? Yep. Alright, the, the donuts are gonna fall anytime soon. But let's check, you know, let's get this um, thing here. Slow it down. Alright, should I save it? <laughs> should I save it now? They're from the frame. Um, how the fuck do I go about this? Rockin? Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Alright, hold up. Then we smack it. <laughs> smack that shit. Alright. We reach, not there yet. Alright, time to smack it. Missile, no! What are you doing under here, you silly boy? Oh, my little missile. You're always doing the cutest things. I said... One step ahead. Janko. What is his name? <laughs> is that his name? A prey is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. Damn, he's eating the donut. There, our little lady's fate has been averted. It has? The poor thing is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. That's not so bad. In the scheme of things, I say she's just fine. Look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right. We did it. We did it, didn't we? We did it! <laughs> well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I say Miss Camilla? Yep. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh, thank you. The fate has been averted, guys. Can I ask a question? Joe, sure, what is it? What exactly are those strange power of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently, they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I guess. That's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I can for a long time now. They won't budge for me. What do you suppose that is? I don't really know. Only one donut, guys. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair. Well, uh, sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the powers of the dead. What's gonna happen to me now? Yeah, he's living now. Nothing really. Your, day, your death has been erased. You just go back to be, uh, being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But... We'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe. If you die again. What you did for me tonight, I'll never forget it. Missile. You're a good doggo. Alright, time to see what happens next in our story. You're a good doggo, Missile. Alright, now a new present is born. The little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. And the little dog is wagging his tail happily. So what do I do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. Well, Lin's gonna get shot, right? Alright, this is him, uh, talking to the boss, right? What? Still has a junkie head. Alright, I got it. I'm on my way. I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. 
He hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. Can't let Nesai Jigo be me yelling on this one. I bet hey. He's dead, isn't he? Flattened. What's that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did. Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Oh, the music's changed. I don't know. Lin. It's trick time. Let's get back up there. I wonder what this uh, music box is. This is a little do doggy, all curled up on the floor. Giving away the life we worked so hard to get him ba back from him. That's fine, but what's up with that car? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Deathslime told me. So what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a car? They tried possessing it apparently. Oh, it's you, it's you. It's um, come to think of it, I never did ask your name. I guess it's good we ran into each other again though. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you already forgot my name already? After everything we shared together, the drama, that tearful goodbye, I'm Missile. But you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me, now that you're alive again. You remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it. Okay, let me get this straight. The memory being dead doesn't disappear. And the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a car when they return to the land of the living. And if I can possess that car, I can talk to that person. It looks that way, yes. Alright, um... So I could just talk to him, alright. It's very we can, you know, have a little chat with Missile, alright? Alright, get up there. Where's Lynn? She's in the junkyard. Alright, Camilla. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me, you gotta get yourself out there right now. What about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there too. I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at the restaurant, the chicken kitchen, uh, on Dead End Drive. Now, I was gonna say chicken diner for some reason. Yeah, Dead End Drive, I don't know, that's pretty far. Is her okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes, is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. Then you can't call, uh, can't very well call it a music box then, can you? Well, just like a box, yeah. I, um, just bring it, okay? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will, where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Oh, who's that? Excuse me. Eek! Lin? Oh my god. Uh, uh oh. Not again. Damn, now I'll drop the phone in there too. How about it if we tell her you did a missile? I sure hope Lin's alright. Better get going. I know right uh, where Dead End Drive is. I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Dropped it ages ago. Let me look for it, okay? Alright, okay, it's trick time. You finding it? Uh, move the card. Will she find it here? She does. This is it. The music box. Yippee! We did it! We get, we done it! Alright, leave the memo here. Don't you touch it, missile. If the TV comes off, you'll start barking. I hate to find you flat underneath that wall when I come home. When I came home. That was a bit of a... Is it? Was it come or came? Okay, I'm leaving now, Missile. I have to go help Lynn. Uh, she's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while I'm away and no barking. Guess we say our goodbyes to Missile. How many tails does he have? Or is that just the wagging animation? I don't know, he, he has like 
four tails. <laughs> All those four fluffs. Uh, still no peace for the little lady. And now the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Alright, alright. Uh, meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle on my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too. Because there's something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? Well, I guess we talk to Missile, right? Do you want to save? Pretty sure that's it. <laughs> Saving the time frame. Come on. Come on. Come on. 8.04. How many minutes? That's like another 30 minutes past. Once again, Lynn's in danger. I think she knows it too. I sincerely doubt uh, she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. Oh, about that, I was yawning. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She may, she's my only lead and I can't lose her. I have to get to her and fast. Oh, damn. Alright, here we go. Let's talk. A bit of monologuing. With the telephone in this apartment being out of service, my only hope of escape is to find another telephone. No, Mr. Depp's lying uh, here. The only friend I have to talk to is that nice little doggy curled up there on the floor. Yeah, let's just talk to him then. Hey, Missile. Oh, hello, what's up? I was wondering if you could help me. I'll certainly try. And about the only thing I'm really good at, though, is barking. There really isn't much else. I think he might be right there. I'm really, really good at barking. Miss Lynn comes chasing after me with a broom. Uh, the lady next door kicks the wall. I've got quite a bit of influence around these plants. Alright, let me just operate the remote then. Hit it. Hit it. Missile. Alright, so the lady's banging it. Do, do. What's that? Keep that racket up. I'll bring this whole uh, dilapidated di dip. I don't know. <laughs> Building down on you. Dipitated, right? Yeah. Who knows? I want to go see in English, guys. <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? You mean the lady next door, angry howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of the telephone ringing coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, the little, la the little lady, the lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. Uh, I guess up, up and away. We'll keep barking, missile. I need to get on top. Moving on. So close. Can I rock it? Two things are certain. There's a telephone in the apartment next door. And I have to create a path to get there somehow. Should I keep barking? If you keep that up, I'll knock this wall down. If she's true to her word, we might be able to change the situation. I just want to avoid the whole getting crushed part though, if you don't mind. I have to do something to change the situation. If I create a little more racket somehow. Maybe the... Can't reach that there, but... We don't need to do this. Yeah, just keep it... Low level, slow. Yeah, just play the ornament, right? Yeah, here we go. Do all the barking. Nicely done, missile. I will pound this wall open. Uh-oh. Jesus. Jesus. Oh god, missile? They told me missile's actually dead. <laughs> what? I told you, didn't I? Uh, I told you I would knock the wall down on you. Cheers to that. You dead? This is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? It's more like she knocked you out. Through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? Do we find out? 
You are. All right. The TV and the star on my man. All right. I'll never bark again. Not as long as I live. Wait a minute. It looks like all the commotion was wasn't for naught, huh? Down, um, yeah. The barking made her create a path for me. It did. The wall is still standing, just like before. There's, uh, there are paths only the dead can see. Oh, those kind of paths. All right. Avida saying, missile. I'm in the next room now. So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're going to save Miss uh, Camilla and Miss Lynn? I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along the way, way then yes. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. I'm gonna find a way to go help Miss Camilla, too. We create our own paths, right, Missile? That's right. Okay, I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. We ever meet again? That's what you can call me. Sissel Missile. I'm going to create my own path, just like you said. Man, maybe Missile is... He's like, the second protagonist. Damn. I uh, can't get out of here. Um... Uh, is there no dog? No dog? Hole thing? What's it called? <laughs> Tonight is the holiest of nights. My deadline. All I need to get some inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here is to the barish people next door. Uncle. Oh, someone's sneezing. Are you alright, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? I think I know who it is, but... Well, here I am in yet another strange room. What's with the Oli Tent's air of this place, anyway? Now, where is that little treasure I'm looking for? Alright, hold on. Where's my water? <laughs> I need to move out my seat a bit as well. Hold on. Alright, let me adjust myself a bit. The yeah, RB for a sec. Alright. There it is. The telephone. Now if I can just borrow it. Alright, it's Chico time. Trick or tree. Turn the latch. It's a rat. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Drinking bird. Oh. Turn the windmill. What's going on here? Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. You mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man, but we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to uh, abdi abdi abdicate <laughs> it all for you. Even if it means my ultimate ruination. Ruination? Ru ru whatever. Hmm. Ruination, is that even a word? And that abdicate just now doesn't look right somehow. He's going to be nagged on me until I'm sure. Well, here's the... Whoa, wait, hold up. The rat? Thing's too heavy, I can't manipulate it. Maybe that woman built her up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. More like a weapon than a book. I think she's going for it. Where is that dictionary? Up the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hit the... The rat. Back his ass. Bam. No. Just can't find it. How you find it? Wait, how you do this? Will she find the... Alright. Missing... Alright, yeah, yeah. Alright, do it again. I 
she's gonna find it again. There's a rat waiting for her. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Jesus. It is strange. I know I left the stick tray on the shelf. As if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Oh. Who is this person? Perhaps my darling angel. Alright. No, I don't know who it is. I thought it was gonna be like a parrot or something, right? Mama. Who it is? Hold up. Wait. Uh. Turn knob? Do shit. Where's it, my darling angel? Ow, my head hurts, mama. You poor dear, and no wonder, with a fever of 102, I don't know. What is that? That's. that's Fahrenheit. No? <laughs> 102. Where's my degrees at? Alright. Here it is to a night of fever, hotter than the love of my prime minister. It's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, a soul star would be best. But wait a minute. But you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I, d I ever don't want to go, I just don't go and pretend I did. I go play with Camilla next door or so. something. <laughs> Here it is to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Alright, so she's well acquainted. Hey, today is Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Are we going to celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father there, oh no. Separation. Is it a divorce? Who knows? Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight after all. Mama, wait. Mama. I just have one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Now now, it's time for you good little girls to go to sleep. Especially sick little girls. I hate you, mama. Damn. You info. Well, those two are quite a pair. Father would have to be a st pretty strong man to hold his own against them. Sounds like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. I wonder if I had a family. If only, if only. Uh, I don't even know what to do here. To turn on the knob? I think I've done that. Will she notice that the light's off? Oh, my lamp is out. Oh, down, excuse me. You should just like let a fire. Friction of her ass. Huh. It didn't really help. My darling, to think that you were a spy all along. What are you going to do to me, Mr. Prime Minister? I will arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. You're sentenced to be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my dear lady. Huh. I hate to live in this Prime Minister's country. Damn, she's doing the one hand as well. How the hell do I get up from here? brought the dic this dictionary all the way over here to look up something. In regardless, here I sit, all alone. Either she forgot what she wanted to look up, or she forgot to she was even wanted to look anything up in the first place. Huh. Is in regardless really a word? We sure ain't. Uh, what do I even do? Should I turn back? I can't even turn back down. Alright, eek. What is going on? Alright. Oh, I made a typo. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. That was my chance. The telephone's right over there if I can only get to it. Alright, she's gonna light the flames. Here we got the match. The friction. The play. Wait, when she starts typing. Trick. 
Alright, here we go. Get that. One hand throw. Nah, I think that hit. Little. Little lady over there. Oh. Oh, damn. Sick. <laughs> I thought I was going to go into the waste bin, but nope. Hello, is that you? How many times are you going to make going to make me tell you? Tonight is the holiest of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you, change your mind and come home to me. I think you need, you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. You could write your novel just as fine as from home. Until you you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if it means forever. <laughs> Let me talk to Emily. Then Elise. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now. And I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. Now I don't want you to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a moment. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer. Poor guy, man. Trace complete. Whose phone is it? Ladies Red. Nope. Cold man. Yeah, this is Ladies Red. Damn. So I know. So we know the girl's name is Emily, eh? Curious about this woman's husband. I should go find my only lead first. A hitman who was after Lynn. I ride the junkyard first. Uh, yeah, because he's a junkie. 